Well, it has been a little over one year since Colleen resident and Vietnam vet John Wesley Seth Jr. was shot and killed by his neighbor. And Seth's family says they want to know why the person responsible isn't behind bars. Yeah, that's the question tonight. Channel 6 News reporter Amani Payne spoke exclusively with the family. She joins us now with more of those details. Hi, Amani. Chris and Leslie, it's been a year of pain and confusion for the Seth family. They say they ran into the suspect at a restaurant recently and it shook them to their core. The family is speaking out now, hoping to get the case to move along just a little bit faster. I mean, everybody in the neighborhood knew him and he was a real, real good person. He would give anybody his heart. This quiet stretch of Fish Pond Lane in Colleen was lined with police cars and caution tape around this time last year. As Vietnam vet, 80-year-old John Wesley Seth Jr.'s body lay lifeless in his driveway. Police say he was shot and killed by his next-door neighbor, 84-year-old Santiago Vasquez. And right then I went in a shock and I just jumped up and uh, ran over here. And when I got here, I seen the yellow tape and I tried to run to get to him. According to this arrest affidavit, a witness saw Vasquez yelling at Seth and says he hit Seth with a cane and pushed him to the ground before allegedly shooting him three times. The family says Seth filed dozens of police reports against Vasquez over the several years they lived next to each other, claiming Vasquez harassed him repeatedly and even broke out his house windows, but claim not much was ever done about it. It was never done. I, I feel like if Clean PD would have handled this in a different way, maybe this would have never went down like this. Vasquez was arrested and bonded out, but has since been indicted for the murder. Seth's family says they ran into Vasquez at an area Denny's a few weeks ago and were in shock, saying they're upset that the person allegedly responsible for their pain is not yet serving time for the crime. You know, he's sitting in there like nothing ever happened, and it's unbelievable that uh, a person can shoot and kill a person and still walk around free and, and enjoy his life while others suffer. The family claims case hearings have been pushed back at least three times. They feel like they're getting the runaround and poor communication. They hope to see things move more quickly so the family can begin to heal. We, we want to see him locked up and we want to see him go do his time for the crime he did. The Bell County District Attorney's Office says the case is set for a hearing in early January. The victim's family says they hope the hearing won't get pushed back. Chris and Leslie. All right, thanks.